Good morning, profit traders. Looks kind of looks like we're going to have a pretty exciting day today. Futures are popping up a little bit. Um, looks like we're going to get up in uh, above our 141 level that has been uh, nagging at me personally, and I know nagging at a few other folks. So let's see how we act above that 141. Let's see if we can close up there. Uh, that'll be the real key. And then it looks like we may uh, try to attack uh, these highs uh, above 142 up into here. So we'll see what happens. All right, let's take a look at some stock picks. Oh, just a quick reminder. Uh, the Tonight, uh, member e-learning, 8 o'clock, right here in the trading room. Uh, if you are a trial member, you are considered a member. I, I get asked that question a lot. Uh, I'm a trial member. Am I able to come to Tuesday nights? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. So uh, please be here. Be very nice to have you. Come with lots of questions. We'll see if we can get some answers. First stock pick, not necessarily the best stock pick, just happens to be the one on the top of the list, is this uh, GY. GY. Uh, GY broke out yesterday. You can see it's obviously in a nice trend right here. Uh, we're looking for continued strength and we want to buy it on that uh, uh, strength up. So uh, I certainly like buying on an inside day. That gives you a better price, but by the end of the day, it really needs to close up. Uh, if you do keep it, uh, say, you know, if you buy it in this area, um, and it doesn't close above, then you need to monitor it, uh, whether it be on an intraday chart or use something on the daily chart as a stop, uh, as a stop area. I'd take a look at a 60-minute chart, something like this. Um, you know, if you buy on that in, intraday, look for those sell signals that may be telling you, ooh, that might not have been a good buy. Uh, but ultimately, we need to see that breakout, and we need to see new highs there. Um, MSPH, MSPH, whoops, I'm sorry, yo, N N S. I was saying M, N S P H. This is another one uh, that we're looking uh, at. It's a uh, little morning star type signal right here. Uh, had good consolidation the day before yesterday, and then yesterday we had follow through. So we're looking to come up and retest. Uh, these highs up here near three dollars and sixty cents. Uh, the weekly two hundred day simple moving average is hanging out right up here. So we may see, you know, if, if it can get up in here, we may see a little consolidation, and then if we get that breakout, that could really start um, moving up to some money, uh, to a, you know, some money area above that weekly two hundred, and that was NSPH. Uh, UEC. UEC is a nice rounded bottom breakout. We also have a double bottom working right here. Rounded bottom breakout over the big three. Uh, you can see right in this area where it started to uh, uh, accumulate a little bit. It rallied up. It pulled back making a little J hook. And that took, it, well, we, we had the rounded bottom breakout here and then a pullback and then it broke out again. Um, I think what we need to see here now is a clear of $2.30 uh, from that level up there. We'll shoot for the 200-day simple moving average. Um, you know, when, when, when we talk about this 200 being a target here, it's a directional target. And uh, many times these trades will get up to that 200 in a, in, in a fairly short period of time. Uh, but it may take several weeks to do that. And, then, you know, what we have are these these pops and these pullbacks and pops and pullbacks and pops and eventually works itself up uh, but when you think about it we have a uh, two dollar twenty cent stock here heck if this thing just moved up uh, into the if it moved up forty cents came up to about the 260 area um, I'm fairly confident that most people would be pretty happy with those profits so um, great chart pattern good target direction a lot of money to be made right in this area right here. Uh, VELT. Yesterday we talked about VELT a bit, and uh, some people may have entered it, some may not. Um, what we're looking for is uh, 
break out of the seven dollar and fifty cent area I think it's a buy on an inside day use T line as your target I'm sorry T line is your stop and then uh, with that breakout that I, I think that probably sends it to the 200 day moving average watch for some consolidation and then a possible move up uh, from that area uh, ALXA ALXA that was a big winner for a few people yesterday congratulations on that one um, you know on a stock like this um, if you if you got it reasonably cheap uh, even over the 50 here and you made some good money you know when you when you see a big stick like this you can raise your stop uh, what I prefer is to take some profits off the table um, big sticks like this many times uh, require a little bit of consolidation and sometimes that consolidation really does consolidate and it starts peeling away those profits and before you know it you lose them now I'm not saying that's what's going to do today uh, I'm just you know stick like this don't be afraid to take profits uh, yeah as Sonia is pointing out uh, especially the, the bio stocks and if you have if you still have a piece of it and it starts moving up today that's just that's just gravy on those potatoes uh, so, but uh, definitely definitely make sure you protect those profits and those that made money on this yesterday nice job well done very well done uh, Mako Mako was on the list a couple days ago it's back on the list actually it never really left it's still a excellent looking chart right here I probably should clean some of this up um, Mako's a pinball setup we're coming from a double a double bottom we're above the 20 now we're looking for the 34 as our first target that's always the first target on the pinball setup and then from here we'll look for the 20 or the 50 in this case um, and then we've got some lows over here that we probably need to contend with but from this area up good money can be made right here I mean that's excellent money uh, in this area right here okay one that is uh, I, I posted in the announcements this morning the stock pick list but you know, I, I for for those that are here early in the morning, you can see that all the posts here in the morning from uh, Sonia, Gigi, uh, several other folks, and I say thank you very much for that. Uh, I noticed that DVR was posted. I think Gigi posted that as a pinball setup. I added that to the watch list. I think that's a very nice chart. Um, we've got our our downtrend, very sloppy downtrend, and then we've got the gap down that took out all the 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 all the folks that were holding out they just couldn't stand it and then enough boom down we go um, we, we see this little trickle down uh, residual selling and then a bottom starts to form and if you look at this bottom here little cradle pattern it rallied up failed the t-line and back down and then started up well this this back down is a higher low then this low over here and then we're working on making uh, well I guess maybe we did actually make a higher high here now I'm not gonna call it a higher high kind of an even but I think we're working on making that higher high we've got a doji bullish and golf over the 20 over the T line very nice pinball setup thank you Gigi so this has been added to the list today and then we've got AMRS. This is our feature that goes out on my morning email. Uh, AMRS as our featured uh, uh, stock pick. Uh, what what we want to do is be a buyer between 456 and the T line. Uh, let's put a line up here, something like that. I want to be a buyer in this area that offers what I think is the best entry. Um, looking at the daily chart, knowing that the a close below the t-line uh, would would stop me out of this and then we're looking for the directional target up near the 200 day simple moving average right here uh, and then from there uh, we could see something higher after that 200 but first let's 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 get to this level and go from there uh, those uh, those that uh, is it up pre mark oh my goodness it is I just see that 457 so it's gapping up pre-market so what we'll look at at uh, uh, maybe buying some of the gap now some of us bought this yesterday I bought this yesterday so I'm already in it uh, so I may I may add to that gap 
uh, add into that gap area. Uh, we'll see what happens. But that 456 is going to be an important, uh, important number. So if we see a low in here today uh, below that 456, I'll probably look to add to it, Gary. Um, it, it's just a good looking chart. Still looks like the 200 may be the target. And then uh, we certainly have some room upstairs here uh, to go get this. Okay, that's the end of the stock picks. Uh, let's see, market-wise, what are we doing here? Market's still hanging in there. Uh, bulls certainly look, look, look like they still want to take it up. We've got about eight minutes before the open. The key today is to close up here. You know, there's always, uh, there's always that fear of a, a gap and drop uh, type, type scenario. So uh, if, if we're going to get up above four, uh, 141 today on the SPY, we need to close up there. That's that's important. Looks like the bulls are taking us there. Now they need to they need to hold us there. That will put this whole shooting star scenario behind us, um, and then it'll give us a, 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 it'll give us a reason to look for retesting these highs over here. So, um, again, a reminder tonight, eight o'clock Eastern, we will have our member e-learning, and uh, from there I'm gonna say. Uh, uh, have a great day. We'll see you in the room in about five minutes. Take care.